We've got Chef Nino with Rouse's Markets in our Studio 10 kitchen. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. I love coming here. There's something like a, it's official. We're at Fox 10 Studio. Ooh, well, we're glad you're here because you always make delicious food. And today you're doing just that, making kind of something festive for the fall season. That's right. Adding an ingredient that you don't typically find in chili, but it makes it really creamy and smooth and a little hint of pumpkin. That's what we're going to put in there. So you're calling it pumpkin chili, is that pumpkin correct? Pumpkin chili, that's right. All right, so we're starting out with some hamburger meat, it looks that's like. That's right, yeah, a very lean uh, hamburger meat. All right, and uh, we put in the onions and the bell peppers and the celery from mm -hmm. the uh, yeah, Gidry's Fresh Cuts right there, yes. And uh, so instead of, well, thank you, Vanna. You're welcome. All right. So we simmer all that down. Now, with some garlic. Chili is a little intimidating to me. Let me tell you why. Okay. Um, I love taco soup because I just throw it in together, but I feel like chili takes a little bit more work, but that's not necessarily true. No, not really. Just more spices, maybe? More spices. And there are some good chili mixes out there right. already done. Right. But I like to kind of reassemble mine. And uh, we just put in our garlic, if you're just watching. Um, let, let me just tell you what's in here, okay? Sure. This is the palette of uh, spices. I have cumin, uh, okay, cumin, chili, chi <laughs> cumin, chili, cayenne, paprika, <laughs> Coco, <laughs> did you miss me? <laughs> oh, woo. Uh, this is coriander, uh -huh. uh, salt, pepper, uh, cinnamon, and granulated garlic. How about that, huh? I am very impressed. Now, he did not read that. He just looked at them and could tell. And I, there are a lot of spices. I have it on my watch. Okay, right he has here. it tattooed right there on his arm just in case you need it. So spices really are the heart of chili. If you make chili at home, you definitely know that. I asked you earlier, though, um, you got the Hershey's cocoa powder. That's interesting yes. to me. Do people usually put something sweet in there? The cocoa is kind of like a balance when you put the pumpkin. Yeah. And uh, you're going to find that a lot in Mexican dishes with tomatoes, etc. Mm -hmm. Is a little cocoa. Ooh, okay. Well, yes. I'm really... Moly. Really excited um, to try this. Something that I love about Rouse's is that if you're wanting to make something with pumpkin, of course you can purchase the pumpkin there. You've got a really cute one here today. Or, like you said, you can just easily buy it pureed already in the can. Ready to go. Yes, 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 yes. So ideally, I would like to let this simmer for about five more minutes, and then we're going to add the spices, okay? But right. let's go ahead and add them now. Is that all right? Because we got to get this it. show on the road. Okay. Watch out. Let's do this here <laughs> while we're doing that. I, I really need to do that, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so I can okay, talk about doing? other things right now, okay? All right. Yeah, so we got some Italian diced tomatoes. Okay. okay? That's a San Marzano variety. Uh -huh. And instead of tomato sauce, look what I found here. Strained tomatoes, 100% fresh Italian tomatoes. And this is amazing. Really bright red in color. We have some green chilies mm -hmm. here. And if you could focus on that. You did, uh, you did it upside <laughs> Yes, down. I did, yes. Whatever, it's still the same product. Green chilies, and we have some beef stock we're gonna put in there. And I'm telling you, this could be a great chili, uh, good for tailgating. Mm -hmm. The weather's gonna be cooling down, uh, uh, hopefully. Yeah, you know? yeah, and so if you need something in your back pocket to feed a lot of people, and maybe just feed your little family, then you can definitely do that as well. So he's gonna add these in. We're gonna let this sit and simmer for just a couple minutes. We'll be right back with more Chef Nino. Welcome back into the Studio 10 Kitchen alongside Chef Nino from Rouse's. What you whipping up today, Nino? Man, we're doing a pumpkin chili. Ooh, yeah. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes. We brown the ground beef. We put in the onions, the bell peppers, uh, the uh, garlic. And then we put in our spices, cocoa, coriander, cumin, chili, cayenne, salt, pepper, <laughs> coriander, granulated garlic. Brother, you, you, you broke my concentration. I just had to get all the flavors in there, man. Thank you, brother. We wanted all I good. I do it the, without you. This flavor sensation you've created, we got to get the full flavor no, you're, profile. You're right about that. You know what's cool is you can kind of smell the uh, the pumpkin essence a little bit. Mm -mm. You smelling it? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. You know, you grab my spoon for my pot. I don't go to your broadcast and just take over, you know, but no, you feel free to do what you want. I think we could put together a video highlight reel that begs to differ with that statement. <laughs> Thanks to differ. Okay. Yes. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Uh, yes, sir. So, how did you come up with this idea for a chili infused with pumpkin? Uh, I wanted to use some fall ingredients. Yeah. You know, typically we don't use pumpkin very much except for decoration. But let's go ahead and cook with it. You know. I like that. 
And if you're looking for fall, you can talk about a lot of things when you go to Rouse's. I'm sure you can pick up pumpkins at a lot of Rouse's in oh, general. Oh, fall is in the air. Yeah, a lot yeah. of pumpkins and spaghetti squashes. All that's coming into acorn squash. Yes. And, and good all the time, you know, whether we're airing this one in October or November, that whole season there, that's that fall kind of pumpkin yes. feel. You can, you can make this anytime during that time. It is, and fall is in the air. air. <laughs> See? Oh, you all right? Yeah, I just fell. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Yes, you can take a trip and never leave the farm. <laughs> okay. So this recipe, you can find it online. Also, fall do deals with football, too. You can find all your football oh, needs at Rouse's. Man. Yeah. All the tailgating, especially the grill. I will make this statement. We are the tailgating headquarters for the Gulf Coast. I challenge you to find a better selection of meats, produce, etc., any anywhere. And lots of variety to those meats and stuff, too. They've got the typical things you need if you want to keep it simple, but they also have a lot of things you can pick up and go with, but a lot of different Cajun Creole-infused flavors in there, too. These are those wonderful uh, strained tomatoes from Italy I was telling you about. Yeah. Living in Italy for those years, this is how you buy tomatoes out of a carton. And I'm, I want to just show you bright red tomato. You can use tomato sauce, but I'm telling you, you're going to have that natural sweetness of that tomato uh, just like that right there. All right. I'm going to let you take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to continue to work on this fantastic recipe with Chef Nina, a little beef stock in there. Yes. All yes, right. Yes. We'll be back with more after this. We are back to finish up our pumpkin infused chili with oh, Chef Nino. Man. Good stuff. You can I tried it. it before. The show start is amazing. Now, you want to let this cook for about 45 minutes, and I believe we have about that time on there. Longer if you can, but this chili is ready. It's thick because of the pumpkin. You want to try a little bit? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, this is like Willy Wonka. You got a golden spoon. You know who I am? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the, the Willy Wonka 3, Chef Nino's Wonderland. That's right. Yes, indeed. What a good show the first. I didn't see the second or whatever, but. Uh, Gene Wilder. Yes. Big fan. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah. It's just a whole concept. You know how Charlie had enough trust and not to keep that everlasting gobstopper and to remain poor. You know, that's character, man. That's a lot of good, uh, good character sketches in there. Mmm. This is delicious. Brother, that's, that pumpkin really does a trick. You would think pumpkin yeah. and chili, but wait, trust me on this right here. And if you want to, you can put some black beans. You can kind of switch it out, whatever. But this right here for your next tailgating party or just your nice, uh, nice afternoon Sunday event, whatever. You can have it as is. Dip a cracker in it, put some noodles in it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. You can switch it up. That's right. I like it. This is good Fox 10 News recipe or uh, Rouse's.com. There you yeah. go. Find the recipe online. Perfect for the fall. Nino, great job. Just trust me this. You're going to love this chili. Do it exactly how I did. It'll come out perfect.